Hey everyone, so this video is going to um, explain to you what we're doing today. Um, you should watch this video first and then watch the video on actually folding the planes. Um, that way you know exactly what you're doing and then, you know, when you, once you get all excited about folding your planes, you'll be ready to go. So, what we're doing today is pretty much we are collecting data. So we're actually doing the experiment today, so this is the fun part. But there are a few things I want to go over so that you guys know exactly what is required and kind of how you should be setting up your experiment. So first up, when you actually get into it, um, you're going to be collecting data, um, measuring how far each of the paper airplanes fly. So one thing that you want to be aware of is that when you're measuring, you want to use the same unit um, for every single throw. So basically in the classroom, if we were to do this in school, I would put masking tape on the floor every five feet. And then you'd throw the paper airplane from one start spot. You have to choose one starting spot. And then after every throw, you'd kind of see where it landed based upon, okay, is it in between the five and the 10 feet? Or is it, you know, just a little bit above the 15 feet line, whatever it may be. So if you if you're going to use like actual feet, like a, using a measuring tape, like, you know, the actual 12 inches to every foot, you can use that. Um, I realize that some people, since we're at home, you may not have a measuring tape to mark off all of those feet. So instead you can actually use real footsteps. Okay. The key thing here though, for any unit you use, you have to throw from the same starting point for every single throw. Okay, so keep that in mind. Choose one starting point, mark it off, whether it be I don't know, throw something on the ground to mark where you're throwing from, and then every single time throw from there. Okay, so again, you don't have to use real feet, like the measurement, um, 12 inches in a foot. You can just use footsteps if that's easier for you, um, like your own footsteps. Um, and just make sure that you're throwing it from the same time each time. So what you're going to do is for each type of wing, you're going to do uh, not just one throw. You're going to have three different throws. So you'll start with the rectangular wing. You'll throw it one time and you'll measure it. Let's say it flew a total of 16 steps. Then you threw it the next time and it flew a total of 14 steps. And you threw it one more time and it really did terrible and it flew six steps. Okay, over here where it says average, you're going to do a little bit of math. So this is kind of finding the mean um, or the average of your data. So basically what you're going to do is you can open up the calculator and you are going to add up each of the data points and then divide it by your total number of data points. So if we do 16 plus... 14 plus 6 equals, we have a total of 36, and since we have three numbers that we just added up, we are going to divide by 3, and my average steps that my rectangular plane flew was 12. Okay, then we do the same thing with the triangular. Let's say it flew 17 steps, and then it flew... 18 steps, and then it flew 17 steps again. We would do the same thing. We add them all up. 17 plus 18 plus 17. And since, again, there's three throws, three data points, we divide it by three equals. Okay, so over here, if it's a decimal, 17.33, whatever, you can just put 17 point three. That's a comma. There we go. 17.3. Done. Okay. So hopefully by now you guys kind of see exactly what you need to do. You are throwing each type of wing three different times and recording each of the distances, whether it be in feet, footsteps, whatever you want to use, just make sure it's the same for each time you do it. Cause that would be a constant that needs to be kept the same. So that is for your quantitative data. Again, if you have a question, you can always type it in the um, 
comments and I'll get back to you if you have a question on the quantitative data. Down here, we have our qualitative data. So qualitative is with an L, so that's descriptions um, using adjectives. So you want to describe how each plane flew. Did it go fast? Did it go slow? Did it loop? Did it crash? Did it glide gracefully? However you want to describe its flight, you're going to just jot down some notes right over here. Okay. Um, again, they should be pretty um, descriptive. Don't use any numbers, okay? Don't say something like the rectangular flew 12 steps, okay? Can't do, can't just write it out 12 steps because guess what? That's a number. You also can't do this Because guess what? Even though you spelled out 12, it's still a number, okay? You just changed the form that you wrote it in. You wrote it in word form and not standard form. So, again, you'd want to say something like, this plane really did not fly very well, or something like that, okay? Anything using words as um, descriptions and not necessarily data, numbers. Okay, so that's what you're doing today. Pretty much um, you are going to be testing out each one and writing down the data, coming up with an average, and then describing each of their flights. Okay, um, so after you're done watching this video, you can watch how to actually fold each paper airplane, and then you are pretty much ready to go. Okay, again, just keep in mind choose one starting point and throw from that starting point each and every time and keep your um, units the same, okay? So if you're going to use feet, you can use feet. If you want to use footsteps, that may be easier. You can do that as well. All right, guys, have a lovely day and happy flying.